Where did that come from? <laughs> he made it up. It's just like his own little character. <laughs> It's Memorial Day, and I know you probably see these videos and different things. So the reason why I work Memorial Day, I'll take you back 11 years ago. So 11 years ago, a couple things. For me, I, I know to get ahead and to grow that the day someone isn't working, I could get ahead. You know, that's why I like working Sundays, you know? And the first Memorial Day I worked, I posted on Facebook, and I got reamed by uh, a guy in the service. And he was like, how disrespectful, you're working on Memorial Day. I'm thinking, how am I disrespectful? I go, number one, my dad was in the Korean War. My dad, who passed away, of course, but he wouldn't want me sitting uh, or drinking a six pack of beer, stuffing my face with shit food. You know, that's no way to remember, right? He would rather me doing what I do best, which is serving and helping people. So on Memorial Day, the way I remember the people that serve us in our country, is to work hard to help people live healthier, amazing lives. And so I work uh, yeah, every holiday except uh, Christmas Day and Thanksgiving Day. But everything else, people are off, so they have the time to come in, right? That's always, they know I don't have time, I'm busy, so they get to come in. I get to see couples coming in together, because sometimes I don't see the couples. Dad, you know, one's working one job, the other's work, so I get to see the couples come in. It's low-keyed, it's fun. They don't have to rush to be anywhere. The reason why I work New Year's Day is when the year starts, I'm gonna start, it's just, it's, it's symbolic for me. Like, how do I wanna start the year? Off doing nothing? Or do I wanna start the year off right, hustle, hustling and doing what I was created to do? See that, so it just, it's all here. You know, these things I do, because it, it just, it's, it's for me and the people. It's for both of us, right? It's being selfishly unselfish. In my area, in the woodlands, we could drive around, there is zero people open. Because you know what? They want to take the day off and remember the soldiers. But the thing is, they're not remembering anybody. I'm just, they're not even thinking about the soldiers. They're just liking a Facebook ad that says uh, has a, a meme about, you know, Memorial Day. No, they just they they just love Memorial Day because it's a day off, so they don't have to do anything. Uh, so that's why, just in my profession around here, I'm one. And I'm not trying to be the best. I'm trying to give the most value. So I'm here on a day where all the other offices closed because they wanted to sleep in. Not saying, not saying that you shouldn't enjoy things. I'm just saying that, like, my uniqueness is that. In my area, there's no one open, so if I could be the one that's open, that is part of my uniqueness, all right? And then that, remember, always focus on your uniqueness, because your uniqueness makes you different and special and separates you from the sameness. Yeah, check it out. We do the time. Of course, we get to the money. We show insurance how insurance doesn't uh, do health care, they do sick care. We show the statistics on how what people, like everybody wants to become debt free. So, how people write their goals, right? So, most of their goals are becoming debt free. So, I showed them the number one cause of debt is sickness. People want to hold on to their money, they're very money motivated. Money's at the top of their goals. Number one cause of bankruptcy medical bills. If you want to become debt free, if you leave your problem there, will it ever happen? They're like, no. So we start showing that health is your greatest asset. Time is your greatest commodity. You could wait to do something. See, money's replenishing. You work and you replenish the money. But the thing is, what you can't replenish is time. You'll get the money back, but not time. Because people have to understand that whether it be, I don't want to be, I want to be debt free or the time or the money that understands like, you got to, you got to bring it down a level. Like use something that it's like, like I, I usually say, it's like putting your car up on the lift and they say, listen, you got four nails in your tires. You got bleeding brake line. There's something leaking over here. And you say, well, I got a trip tomorrow or I'm going, I'm going to Las Vegas. I'm driving there. I don't have time for this. No one would say that they would, they wouldn't say, yeah, I'll put the car down. I'll take a chance on it. No, they're like, fix it. 
because if they brought it down and took the chance on it, they could have a blowout, they could, have, they could be stranded on the side of the road. Everything that happens from not taking care of the problem is always worse. They, uh, school teaches you what to think and what to do. It doesn't teach you how to think and how to become self-aware of who you were created to be and what your gifts and talents are. Because right? they're telling me to do this or that or, or things need to be that way. Actually, school is almost like another form of religion or dogma. Or what I mean by that is, you know, say someone goes to church and and they always say, no, but it is this way. Why? Because that's what I was taught my whole life, right? So it actually indoctrinates this, well, this is what I've been taught my whole life. This is what the book said. And so they, they take it on at 100% because it was just in a book or was taught. And so again, that's why it's teaching you what to think and what to do, but it doesn't allow you to say, well, how, how is my unique way of thinking? Or how is it that I can become self-aware of my gifts, talents, and the hero I was created to be? I really think the, the true geniuses are the ones that are disguised as the troublemakers in school, the ones who question authority, the ones who speak up in class, the ones who skip class, where they seem to be like they're the quote unquote bad kids with the bad grades. But in reality, I think they're more self-aware or at least they're, they have the sense of something deep and down inside that this is invaluable to me. Or this is, they, they know, this, they, I don't think someone purposely does something to be less than. I mean, right, like if someone was so, in, if they thought that this would actually mean something to them later on, they would have done it. So there was something that I think it's, they might not know it consciously, but subconsciously, I think that genius inside them is like, this is not gonna lead to your success. That's why they skip school and they do all these other things, troublemakers, and they wind up becoming the entrepreneurs and actually truly running a business and creating an entire life for themselves. This is more about the parents, because the parents are like, I failed you as a parent. It's all inner stuff, or you're supposed to go to college like we did, or like we never did, or well, what's my family gonna say when they hear about that? Like they're going through like, how am I gonna explain this story? Because you know how many times, oh, where are they going? Oh, well, they decided to drop out, right? So they, in that one second, their whole body goes into selfish mode, not what their child desires and their dream, it's, well, I can't, I don't want to be labeled as the parent that failed or my kid didn't go, go, go to college because your kid going to college is a status, an elevated status for the parent. That's what society says. Hey guys, make sure you check me out on Snapchat. I'm here having fun. Come on, come join me.